The Kissing Booth 2 is a sequel to, yep, Kissing Booth 1. It is a teenage drama-rama that I believe is directed mainly towards teenage girls. Wow. I must admit that I kind of hated slash liked the first one, so I had to watch the second one when I saw that it was coming out. It has all the old actors from before. Joey King as Ellie Evans, Joelle Courtney as Lee Flynn, and Jacob Elordi as Noah Flynn. So the whole gang is back and it appears the actor that played Lee Flynn, the best friend of Ellie Evans, our protagonist, has decided to take some acting lessons. That or he has decided to learn from his mistakes from the first movie. But then there's a little problem that I see. The problem that pulls me out of this fantasy and gives me a smack of the reality of how this movie really is is the following. They all are perfect looking. They all have perfect cars, houses, skills of 30 year olds and the minds of adults that are super confident and know what they want in life and have already achieved it. Well, not in love, but in everything else, they sure got it. This movie is literally a generic view of what someone would think a teenager would want in the form of a teen soap opera movie. I am, without a doubt, positive that this movie had all the corporate approved messages and requirements as well. Okay guys, I'll admit, after I finished watching the movie, I was like kind of wrapped up in it. I definitely got pulled in emotionally. They, they know how to play that. They know how to do the close-up, the real attractive people, real attractive things, the intense music. They know how to try to pull those animal, like romance, remind me back of the day of uh, puppy love or love sickness or whatever how one feels and and about love young love and blah 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 they know how to do that really well to the point that after i watched it i thought you know i need to let this sake soak in for a little bit because it's like i got exposed to like a extreme excitement crazy pull off your emotion things we know how to do this kind of movie and i think we're doing a disservice for our young when we show them this type of image and say hey this is how you should be like crazy soap opera the movie was over two hours. This is not the kind of movie I'd expect to be over two hours. It was really long. So, I mean, overall, guys, the message of working hard or how you be successful in anything, like one guy named Marcos, he was a super talented player of the guitar and could sing and uh, everything, and he acted like an adult, yet he's supposed to be an awkward teenager. Teenagers don't act like that, and to have those examples, I think, can sometimes be a disservice to our young to say, this is how you should be at this age. No. First of all, those actors probably aren't even teenagers. I would be willing to bet there are young 20 year olds or mid 20 or even sometimes they're in close to 30. So I'm gonna give this movie uh, a three out of 10, three out of 10. So yeah, if you're into Kissing Booth, then you should go see it. Um, and if you're into just watching a cheesy, get into the moment type of movie, go see it. But overall, I didn't care for this movie. So until next time guys, Peace! Yeah, boy! Oh, hey! Hi, audience. Remember how you doing? You're still here, huh? Cool, cool, cool. Well, have you decided what video you're going to pick? Or perhaps you need to subscribe still, or like, or leave a comment. Whatever the case, I hope you enjoyed my channel.